Hey, what's going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video. We are talking about iOS 13.2, which is the latest update to iOS 13, bringing a ton of new features and changes, of course. So in this video, we're going to talk about what's new, of course, performance, battery life, as well as new features and changes that iOS 13.2 has brought to iOS 13. So let's go ahead, let me show you guys what's new with iOS 13.2. First of all, let's talk about the performance of iOS 13.2. Now, I have been very, very satisfied with its performance and stability since beta 1. I had this installed since beta 1 and overall through all the betas, it has been very, very stable and I didn't notice any major bugs and I really can't even remember that I faced any bugs with iOS 13.2. Of course, there are bugs as on all iOS versions, but I didn't face any major problems with the performance of iOS 13.2. Again, the performance, the overall stability is great. And also the performance is very, very good. Again, launching like apps on iOS 13.2 is seamless. Like opening the stock apps of iOS is just like you have them running in the background. It is very, very quick. So the overall performance, very good. I suggest you install it. It is really quick and very stable. Talking about the battery performance of iOS 13.2, I really don't have much to say here. I had this installed since beta 1 and it has been good, not great, not the worst, but it has been good. Like since iOS 13 has been released, I had basically the same battery life on all iOS 13 versions here on my iPhone 10. I pretty much had the same experience with battery life, nothing great, nothing that bad of course, but it has been like like a standard like battery life since I was 13 beta, the first beta up to now, I was 13.2, I didn't notice any major changes on battery life. Again, I was 13.2 as well, the battery life, it is good, not great, not the worst, but it is good. Moving on to some new features and changes of iOS 13.2. There are a few changes here on the home screen, like if you 3D touch on an app, now you will see that you will have an option right there to delete the app directly from the 3D touch menu. Also, if you 3D touch again here, you can see that now you will have this button called edit home screen. Now that used to be rearrange apps, now it's edit home screen and it pretty much does the same thing. Also, when 3D touching on a folder, you will notice that the rename icon has been redesigned as well. There are a few changes on the volume hood as well. You will see a new animation when the volume hood disappears from the screen and right there at the bottom, you won't see any like text when turning up or down the volume of your device. So that used to be like speaker or it would say basically the name of the device where you're playing the music, basically the sound, but now it just shows the icon of the speaker right there. There are some changes within apps as well. On the music app, there are a few new changes like you will see now a history of the songs that you have played. All you gotta do is here on the up next, just swipe down and you will go to the history and of course you will have a button right there to clear the history. You can see that change right there on the design of the repeat and the shuffle buttons as well. Also, the music app now has a new 3D touch menu. When you press your 3D touch on any of the songs, you will see this has been redesigned completely as well as you will see a new animation here when turning on or off the shuffle button you can see right there that animation that you will see on the up next. That's really, really cool as well. And of course, the new emojis are here as every year Apple this year has also released new emojis and you will find a bunch of them. I believe there are like 70 new emojis on iOS 13.2. You will see like a few dogs here. You will see like it's the planet. We have like other stuff here that has been added to iOS 13.2. I believe the onion is new. You will see garlic, waffle and all that stuff. So there are like 70 new emojis with iOS 13.2. And a new feature with the emojis is that when you go to like choose a couple here on the emoji, now you will have like this new picker. If you tap right there, you can customize this any way you like. So you can choose here. The first one, of course, you can choose different skin tones 
and then for the second one you can choose different skin tones as well so you can do that directly from this new picker so all you gotta do here is of course just tap on one of the couples and then you will have the ability to basically choose different color tones right there on the settings app now if you go to siri and search you will find siri and dictation history this is new this has been added to ios 13.2 and allows you to easily delete the siri history as well as the dictation history also there are a few new changes as well if you go to privacy now you will find a new section called research this has been added on ios 13.2 as well as analytics and improvements has been renamed and if you go right there you will find a new option here to enable or disable improve siri and dictation so if you don't want to send basically your voice to apple you can just go ahead and disable that option directly from there within the settings app there is a new option as well here if you go to general now you will have airplay and hand off settings right there and if you go here you will find automatic airplay to tv so you can choose this and also you will find transfer to home pod you can enable or disable it right from there and announce messages with siri is finally back now this feature had been on the first few betas of ios 13 but then apple removed it and it's finally here with iOS 13.2. So you want to Siri to, air, to announce your messages through your AirPods. Now you can do that with announce messages with Siri on iOS 13.2. A small change here that I don't like on the home screen is on the dock. Now, if I remove an icon from the dock, you will see that it will put all the three icons right here in the middle. Now, previously it used to space out the icon, so put this one more on the left, this one more on the right, and you will just have them like precisely spaced out and it looked much, much better. Now, that's a new change that I don't like on iOS 13.2. There is a change with the screenshots as well. You can see here I'm on the Apple website and if I take a screenshot of this website, you will see that iOS will automatically name it Apple. So it will basically name screenshots based on the scene that you take a screenshot of. So if I take a screenshot here, it's not like a specific scene and all it does is that it will name it screenshot. But if it knows what scene it is, what's, the, what's about, it will name the screenshot based on that scene also if you're on the dark mode you enable the dark mode you will see that the screenshot flash will be much much darker of course that that's to adapt the dark mode you will see the difference there without the dark mode much brighter with the dark mode enabled it will be much much darker with iOS 13, of course, we have a new option to preview links. So you can 3D touch on a link and it will show you a preview of that link. Now with iOS 13.2, you will have the option right there to hide the preview. So if you want to do that, you can do it from there. And whenever you 3D touch on a link, it won't show you the preview no more until you tap to show the preview again. On Safari on iOS 13.2, if you tap the letters right there, it will show you like the website settings here and you will notice this is new right here. It has been separated into different sections. So this menu has been separated into different sections. Also, if you tap on show readers view, you can see that if you go there, now the fonts are hidden. You won't just like get a long list of fonts, but you will have to tap on the fonts right there. And then here it will show you the basically the list of the fonts, but won't show them on the first page right here. On the shortcuts app on iOS 13.2, now you will have the option to share shortcuts. Just tap right there on a the shortcut, tap the share button and from here you will have the option to now share shortcuts. If you go to the app drawer on the shortcuts app, now you will have the ability to quickly dismiss it simply by swiping it down. So you don't have to reach at the top to press the X button, you can just swipe it down like this and bring it up back like this. On the messages app on iOS 13.2, when you tap the three dots, instead of manage messages, you will see now select messages. That has been changed and of course it makes more sense. When setting a wallpaper on iOS 13.2, now it will show you this text that indicates whether the perspective zoom is on or off. Now this has been on iOS 13 before, but it was removed and now is back with iOS 13.2. 
on the TV app on iOS 13.2, there is a new 3D touch menu. So you can see right here, you can 3D touch on items and you can share them or add them to the up next list. Also, if you go on one of the items, you will see a new button right there. If you tap add, it will add it to the up next. And of course, you can also remove it from the list simply by tapping again. Once that is checked with a check mark right there, you can tap on it to remove it from the list. On the podcast app on iOS 13.2, now you will have the ability to search audio. So you just type any keyword right there and it will find topics and people that are mentioned within the audio. So if you search like for a person or a topic, it will find podcasts that include basically mention that keyword or that person. On the control center of iOS 13.2, if you go on the volume slider, you will see that now it won't show you the iPhone like icon right there. It will just show you the speaker and won't basically show you the icon here of the device where you're playing the sound, the music. It will only show it right here on the slider. When you go out of it, it will show it just here. There are a few changes, of course, on the camera app as well, but these are exclusive to the new iPhones. Apple has added this new feature called Deep Fusion, which is only available on the iPhone 11 Pro. It will basically ma make like mid light pictures look way, way sharper and way better, of course. And also now you will have the ability to change the camera settings like the frames per second and the resolution directly from the camera app. Again, unfortunately, that's a feature only on the new iPhones. On iOS 13.2, if you have an app installed on your device and that app has installed fonts on your device, when you go to delete it, it will show you this pop-up that tells you that that app has fonts installed on your device. And of course, by deleting the app, you will also delete those fonts. And now you can tap also here, show installed fonts if you want to see which fonts that app has installed. And then of course, you will have the option here to cancel or to delete the app. So that's it for this video, guys. This is iOS 13.2 performance, battery life, and of course, the new features and changes of iOS 13.2. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 13 videos. And I will see you on the next one.